living in the same old house in the neighborhood. Just three boys. No matter whether times are bad or times are good. Just three boys. Okay, Lucas. Truth or dare? Uh, truth. Okay. What is your opinion on genetically modified foods? What? What the heck is that? You see, Lucas, it's a kind of genetically modified organism, or GMO. So, what's the difference between a GMO and a GMF? One is an action figure, and the other is a genetically modified food. No, Eli, GMO, not G.I. Joe. <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> so, Lucas, now that you know a little bit more about GMOs, What's your opinion on them? Well, they sound good, but what's modified about them? I'm sure glad you asked, Lucas. A GMF is a food whose original DNA structure has been altered. What this means is that foods can be changed to have different traits and characteristics. It allows scientists to do some amazing things, such as make corn that produces its own pesticides and a banana with a vaccine in it. How crazy is that? Wow, that was impressive. Did you memorize all that? No, I have my notes. <laughs> Wow, that sounds pretty good. I think I like GMOs now. Not so fast, idiot. Most Americans these days eat GM foods every day without even knowing it. Almost every other country in the world has strict laws requiring GM foods to be clearly labeled. Ow! So why don't we have these laws in the U.S.? One of the main reasons is that companies like Monsanto, Lando Lakes, and Coca-Cola are spending millions to ensure no laws are put in place that require GM foods to be labeled. If these companies are so against labeling, Surely there must be some downside to GMFs that they don't want you to know about. We still don't know the complete long-term effects of a heavy GMF diet since GMFs are just becoming popularized. What we do know is that some GMFs have lower nutritional value, may contain allergens and not be labeled, and can even increase your resistance to antibiotics. Dude. Ugh, that's heavy stuff, Doc. I'm not sure how I feel about GM foods now. Well, Lucas, whenever I have to make a tough decision, I like to make a pros and cons list. It looks like I'm writing. Do we actually have to do this for 10 minutes? Okay, guys, what pros did you get? Pros? I got Kobe, LeBron, Kevin Durant, Tiger Woods, Charles Barkley. No, 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 not those kinds of pros. Well, here's what I got pest resistance, herbicide tolerance, less use of pesticides, cold tolerance, drought tolerance, and even pharmaceutical use. Well, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> Alright, how about the cons? Well, there's high tops, low tops, and they come in a variety of different colors. <laughs> you forgot Al Capone. He's a con. <laughs> and what about King Con? So bad. So bad. Alright guys, but for real, how about those cons? Well, a lot of genetically modified foods aren't properly labeled, and people want to know exactly what they're eating. Also, having a crop produce its own pesticides could make bugs resistant to it. Yeah, and some genetically modified foods are meant just for farm animals, but because it's hard to tell the difference between GM foods and normal foods, they sometimes get into our dietary foods. Oh. Hey, boys. Hi, Hi Mom. Mom. Would you like some apples? Are they genetically modified apples? <laughs> <laughs> Just three boys. Just three boys. Just three boys.